Here in the Gabonese capital, preparations are underway for the planned inauguration of junta leader General Brice Oligui Ngema as the country's transitional president. And these Libreville residents say they feel both calm and safe ahead of the change. We thought it was going to be like in 2009 and 2016, when there were deaths and bloodshed in our country. But thank God things are calm now that the military's taken over. We feel good since the military took power, because the coup didn't fail like in 2016. We already thank the military for that, and hope that after all these benefits are given to us, the military will hand over power to civilians. Ngema, along with other members of the Gabonese Presidential Guard, seized power last Wednesday in a military coup that ousted President Ali Bongo, effectively ending the Bongo family's 56-year stronghold on power and wealth in the country. Though it's estimated one-third of Gabon's 2.3 million population live in poverty. ECAS, Central Africa's regional bloc, will also reconvene on Monday for talks, having condemned the military takeover alongside the UN and the African Union, all urging a rapid return to constitutional order. The coup also marks the eighth military takeover in West and Central Africa since 2020, raising concerns on the global stage of a democratic backslide in the region.